Hi everyone. Welcome back to Blue Heron Hill. I'm Sue. I've been missing for about two weeks and um, things have gotten quite out of hand. <laughs> These I like to call my Jack and the Beanstalk beans. <laughs> A little bit tough to eat. I could have let them gone and dried and saved the, the beans inside, but I have plenty of beans from last year. These will just go to the compost pile. But anyway, that's the story of my last two weeks. Have not been able to get out and do a really good job of harvesting, especially in the bean arbor, when I should have been out here nearly every day uh, keeping up with the beans. They've taken a break now. Um, I'm going to be pulling every every other plant or something like that so they slow down and I'm not going to get um, too much of an additional harvest. It's been hard keeping up with the garden. This is the busy harvest period. Um, I know I let things slide at least in the weeding department and things like that because things are rolling in faster than I can even pull them. But sometimes things happen and you just can't keep with the, the frantic pace. With the tomatoes, I've been able to at least pull those and plop those when ripe into the freezer. So they'll be ready at any time between now and January even when I'm ready to process um, some for sauce or whatever else I'm on tap to make with those. But you might say, What's up with the title? All of these vegetables and fruits of my garden and I can't eat any of them. Well, that has to do with my being absent in the video department for the last couple of weeks. Let's say I had a bit of a stomach bug. Just knocked my socks off and eating green vegetables, eating raw vegetables, cooked vegetables, you know, fried or anything like that, not on my dietary plan, and at least not yet. But little bit by little bit, I'm getting back into it. Um, I have started to process different things as they come in. Um, the peppers, I can cut those up and freeze them pretty easily on my own timetable. Um, I do a little bit every day as much as I can and then I have to rest. But gradu gradually coming back and um, I must say that I think I'm on my, on my recovery route and I'll be back up to speed real soon. So let me take you and show you all of the different things that are just exploding with growth in the garden. I've got a few things that I'm not so pleased with the results, other things that I'm overjoyed with the results, but let me take you around just briefly and show you what's going on. Sweet potatoes are doing very well, spreading everywhere into the pathways, into the beds, there are a few, and if you can see down in here, weeds uh, keeping in the way. There's a few that are popping above the ground, and we're going to have to either try and cover those, or maybe I'll even dig those out. They may be on my menu in the next day or two. This is a bed of, you can see it, carrots under there. They have sprouted and are coming along very nicely. I keep this shade cloth on because it's been very, very hot and carrots are more of a cool weather crop and they will benefit with with a little help from the hot, you know, keeping, keeping them out of the hot sun's rays. Over here, these carrots are progressing very nicely in a week or so they will be they will be pulled out I think I have a number of them that are 
You see their shoulders are getting nice and nice and broad and I should get a good crop out of here. On this side, you can see I have some yellow beans here. This is a second crop of yellow beans that I put in back in, um, in July. There's the bean arbor from the outside. Into the main garden. And lovely specimen, cinnamon basil. It smells so good. So good. More tomatoes getting ripe. I am a little disappointed. These tomatoes here set fruit back in the beginning of the summer, but then nothing happened after that. Not getting any real good growth. No, no real flowers to set fruit. Here are some flowers here. That is not going to be able to set fruit and give me anything before the frost comes. So I'm going to be coming by and pruning off all of the all of the flowers and any fruit that's even this size that will not make it before we have a first frost i have lots of dill for our pickles but unfortunately you over here to my cucumber trellis these are pickling cucumbers and I am not getting many of them at all. They were very late to start and they haven't given me many. So it looks like a trip to the farmer's market to buy some pickling cucumbers. Here I have some winter squashes, a few. There's a number through this weedy mess in here. Not too bad of a crop. My celery down here is spectacular. This row, these are our beans, dried beans, black beans. You can see the pods are here turning, um, turning their, their brownish shade, their black turtle beans. And when they dry, I'll be harvesting those. Now these are um, edamame. And here are the pods. These have swollen up very nicely. Um, I usually harvest in beginning of September, Labor Day-ish, if not the end of August, which is upon us pretty soon. Um, oftentimes, I won't pick them as they're ripe. I just cut the whole plant off and harvest everything. They seem to ripen pretty close to the same time for everything on the plant. And you can see they have to be ripe because a lot of the leaves are, are yellowing to show us that their life cycle has been complete. Here we have, this is a whole bed where I harvested my onions. I had a spectacular crop. Very, very pleased with the onions this year. And I'll show you some footage of the yellow onions, which I harvested later. They seem to want to stay in the ground longer. Um, again, with my tomatoes, the first crop that set their fruit early did well. Um, this particular one has some more on it, but then after that, there was nothing, just nothing at all. These are Amish paste. I did get a few additional here, but anything else, I'm going to clip off the top so it'll send energy down to the rest of the plant. And there's a few more on here, but my tomato crop on the whole has not been very fruitful. Now, here I have what is called a garden huckleberry. And I've never grown these before, but I figured if it's a fruit that I can actually grow in my garden, I'm going to give it a try. 
Um, the literature says that the berries will be ripe when they lose their glossiness. I can't really tell that they've lost any glossiness yet. I'm going to have to do some additional research. I've tasted them already and they are not at all sweet. But I thought that this looks like a pretty good crop for a first year crop. Here next door I have leeks and I will be harvesting some of these. Um, probably at least 50% now and then into October, November I'll harvest some more and then I will leave oh a dozen or so through the winter, mound them up with mulch and they should uh, make it through the winter and then I'll have fresh leeks in the springtime. Good crop of peppers. These right here are paprika peppers and I've harvested a few already. I'm gonna pick them when they're nice and red. Um, there's one there that looks pretty good, but the others I'm gonna leave on the vine for just a little bit longer. I have some sweet uh, bell peppers here that I'm letting turn red. I've picked some already that are green. So, um, these are Lesia sweet peppers. Very, very sweet. Again, I'm going to have to um, trim these down because things like this flower, these flowers are probably not going to be able to give me any fruit before a first frost comes. But I've had a pretty good crop off of these, so I'm pleased. These are not opinions. I think I've harvested just about everything that I'm going to be able to get off of those. Here I have a few jalapenos that are left. There's, there's one right there. That's still yet to harvest. Some I didn't even get to until they turned red. This is a This trellis of tomatoes are all cherries and grape tomatoes. And they have been constantly giving me a, a fresh source of, of snacking. Although tomatoes really haven't been on my dietary list yet. So a lot of them have been enjoyed by friends and family. That is a black strawberry. This is a delicious strawberry. Sweet, juicy, very, very flavorful. Now, I just wanted to show, if I can get this on camera here. Here are two little caterpillars. I think these will be black swallowtails because they love dill. And I'm gonna leave them here because they are a, a beneficial insect to have in my garden. I am going to have to get out to the garden and harvest this still, so I will be able to make some pickles this fall. Short garden tour for the end of August and a little update on what's been going on here and why I've been absent from the garden. I am sure I will be able to enjoy these vegetables throughout the, the remaining of, of the season and into the winter as I will be preserving them. But I have been fortunate that I've been able to share them when I can't avail myself of them. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it on all your social media platforms. So until the next time that we can go digging in the dirt, happy gardening.